Sydney, there's something very weird going on with our uh, girl Farage there. Okay, you were great, Grant. You did your job, and... Didn't you hear her? Yeah, I know. I know you really wanted to stay with the story. I, mean, I needed you to buy us some time, and I appreciate it. I really do. So I have something now, and I'm tossing it all back at you. Okay, great. What do you got? Okay, so there's still nothing anywhere on the wire regarding this mob scene, but I've got ten eyewitnesses in town. We're going live with Steve Van Denzen. That's great. Fuck the wire if we got eyes. Okay, keep it hot, yeah, Grant. Fine. Girl, Beacon you got it. Hit me. You're a beacon on the region. You're listening to... Any word from Ken? You're hosting Grant Massey. Welcome back, folks, to our developing story where it appears that hundreds of people have been involved in a riot in and around the offices of Dr. John Mendez. You heard our own Ken Loney describe the violent scene. We now go live to eyewitness Steve Van Denzen. Steve. Steve. Steve Van Denzen. Okay, I, I'm afraid we've lost the signal from uh, Steve Van Denzen. We'll try and return to him later. But uh, we have just had a report from a Pontypool resident that confirms, indeed, a mob was spotted earlier today headed through town, headed toward the offices of Dr. John Mendez. Apparently they were moving. And uh, they, uh, they are, we're still waiting Shit, to learn exactly what motivated this crowd, this, uh, this mob. Uh, to organize in a seemingly Grant, spontaneous fashion. You know, it's it's very difficult at this moment to get a fix on what has happened, but clearly, well, you heard our own reporter, Ken Loney, earlier. Uh, I don't know, Grant. I don't know. We can't get Ken back on the line. We are still trying to uh, this is completely get Ken fucked. back on the line. I don't line. know what's going on. CLS, why? Can you slow down? I can't understand what... CLS okay, on. hello? We have also learned that some of the perpetrators are speaking in bizarre ways. They're babbling in ways that no one understands. We don't know if this is a way uh, of trying to terrorize people. We don't know. Hello, CLS one. I'm sorry, what did you say? We still do not have an official version of these events. Okay, it sounds good. But it has been reported that up to 75 people sounds are dead. Sounds honest. It is honest. And uh, at least twice that I have number. CBC are and CFRB on the line wanting to talk to you. We now take you to Constable Bob Rosalind of the Pontypool unit of the OPP. He's on the line live. Constable Rosalind, what's happening out there? At 7 o'clock this morning, our office has answered a 911 call to the Golden Dawn facility to discover a large number of people occupying the building. They seem to be trying to get into the elderly woman. Okay, Grant, apparently these people were chanting something. It's so a little creepy, chanting something. Final, final, and uh, what chanting. were they saying? Well, they were repeating things this woman was saying, and she's all senile, so she's babbling about Hitler and some hurricane. Crazy talk. Her. Get out, Grant. Okay, thank you, Constable Rosalind. Now, we are also hearing about a herd. Well, that's how it's being described. A herd of people uh, near the edge of the forest, near Highway 26 in Edenvale. Uh, where's Edenvale, Sydney? It's northwest. Uh, now, Edenvale is northwest of us. And also between here and there in Felkston, a couple with their two young children have been trapped in their car under a mountain Okay, apparently, a mountain Grant, I'm being told people. by Rachel Jones that these people were imitating windshield wipers. This is what's being reported sound of to us. Um, uh, the police yeah, say that they haven't been able to uh, actually see the car in over an hour. Can I be for a they sound like bugs. Sydney, I've got BBC World on the line. BBC. There are a growing number of eyewitness accounts, but we still have had nothing official. No, uh, no press conference uh, has been held, and we have Grant? no official statement. I've got Nigel Healing for you. What? Yeah, Nigel Healing from the BBC. Don't talk to me. Talk to him. Listen, our air, their air. They want to go live. Let's just do it. We are talking to Grant Marzi, the news radio anchor from Pontypool, Ontario, in Canada. Who broke this story? Mr. Mazzy, are you there? Yes, Nigel, hi. 